All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Half Fast 719. Let me know if you guys are liking the beard or not. Anyway, I don't like it. I don't like facial hair. But I'm sick of shaving. Oh no. What do we got here? Oh no. Anyway, so what I'm going to do here, well, what I already did is I just mocked it up because. I don't know, I spent about two hours on it, playing with it. So, welcome back to the channel. Surprise. What I did was I got the axle back where I wanted it. I centered it. It's exactly six and an eighth inch from here to the frame. And I measured them both on, on this side. And that's the same six and an eighth inch. And then what I did is I just tack welded the frame right here this part of the frame is going to be cut out anyway tack welded it so it can't move uh, this should roughly be my ride height um, what I did is this is sorry for the wind guys it, you know it's where I live so this is kind of uh, kind of level if I hold it tight so if I bring it up just a little bit so, I don't know if you can even see that. So since I got to bring it up, so what I did was, when I tacked these on, if you can see that even down there or not, but the booboo, the booboo is right there. Oh, sorry, let me get it on there. So. Once the load gets on there, it'll push this back. So both of them, I did both of them like that. And uh, so right now what I'm going to do in this video, and obviously you want to weld it. I put it together with the uh, bolts going through this way. So I had to take it apart and uh, do the bolts going outside. So what I'm playing with right now is I got to make a piece of steel that's gonna come down here and go just a quarter inch below this um, quarter inch or maybe a half inch below that and then I kind of want it to taper up so from this point up here is eight and a half inches and from here to here is like uh, I don't know, eight inches or something. Um, or maybe seven and a half. So, what I gotta do is I gotta make a little uh, template. I'm gonna cut a piece of cardboard, basically going out here, coming across, um, cutting this over here at this angle, and coming up. So, this way I can weld that to that. Um, I'll weld the steel to this, and then I can weld this to that uh, with uh, probably a little support on the bottom so that it, it won't twist in. So what I'll do is make another piece of flat steel, you know, that goes under it and under it, ties into here somewhere. So that's what I'm doing right now. Sorry guys, you guys don't get to see. Um, only one thing I would recommend, also tools. Just make this a little bit bigger, a little, maybe, maybe inch and a quarter, inch and uh, a half, and a little more leverage. But I am using it, just so you know. So, all right guys, uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna cut some cardboard somehow, somewhere. And uh, yeah, go from there. Oh guys, sorry for the wind again. Going back outside. So, I cut this little template. Basically, it's going to go somewhere right there, roughly. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then, I'll be able to weld that to the chassis. And then weld this hanger. And it's the same over there. <coughs> I can show you. Again, stupid wind. 
good old California San Andreas winds or whatever they call them so anyway that's where it's gonna go so I'm gonna trace this out and then uh, trace this onto there and then that'll be where it'll go and then this way and then I'll break those off and uh, then I'll cut some of these oh wait I already did so <coughs> anyway <coughs> it's hard to cut stuff uh, like balancing like this on my knees but anyway so yeah I got both of them cut out um they both are the same so what I'm gonna do now is mark it with this because it's around that thing and then this way I can just place it over there and uh, yeah then I'll tack it I'll tack them on there just in case I gotta move stuff later I'll just do like three or four tacks um, and then I'll show you guys what that looks like right now alright and just like that they're tacked up So it's just tacked up. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. So this way I can weld underneath right there. Barely weld anything under there. But it's tacked up. What I'll probably do is uh, maybe now or in a little bit. I'll TIG weld it or Excuse me. So it's just tacked right now. Um, I think I might make it, clean it up, and then tig it, kind of how I did these. Um, but for the most part, this is uh, tacked on and not going anywhere. And these are tacked on, not going anywhere. So now. Hmm. Kind of wondering if I should build a little box for the uh, pan hard bar. So, anyway, maybe that'll be the next video. So, that's pretty much it. Um, plasma cutter is working. I don't know. Uh, it should be cut in a half inch at 50 amps. Um, could be because I don't have enough air in my compressor because I plugged the 220 for the welder into the same outlet so the compressor is uh yeah it's doesn't have any power so it's probably gonna get loud and proud <laughs> this video next video you'll probably see uh, I'll probably have something made little C notches or something um, I got to make templates and stuff of that but off camera I'm probably gonna weld all this real quick um, weld it paint it or weld it clean it up paint it just so it's done because it is done that's where the axles going that's where it's staying if I'm oh jeez I don't know what that was but it sounded cool um but anyway um yeah sorry it's loud uh yeah so if I need to move the axle back I basically got two inches I can move it back and two inches I can move it forward because I have a an inch extra threads on either end so inch inch so two inches in two inches out before it can become an issue so that's going to be the uh that's going to be it for this sunday's video and like i said if you're doing this um make sure that the bolts are going to go in so that you can get them out later um so like i have them there Got the nuts on the inside, bolts on the outside, um, because I know I'm going to be removing this. And I do have the axle, 
the pinion angle where I'm going to have it uh, for driving. So this is uh, drive driving height. So and then I'll have to play with these brake lines, emergency brake cables. So it's a lot of work that I got to do. But anyway, I'm gonna weld up all those brackets. Let's see what happened over here. Uh, oh, looks like something fell maybe. So all right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you guys come back next Sunday for the next video. And thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for following. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Alright guys, later. Alright guys, welcome back to another Sunday Project Crack Pipe. Got the plasma cutter out. Cut it straight right there. Shut her down. Anyway, clouds are rolling in. Winds tapered off. And oh no, what have we got here? Anyway, uh, yeah, so what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to make uh, some straight cuts. <clears throat> I'm gonna do uh, some cuts or a straight piece box in the frame right there. And then, uh, I don't know, I was gonna notch it, I'm still gonna notch it. I just want to get these airbags, this airbag crap in here. Um, so I got it where it's going to be. As you can see, stuff lines up right there. So, and what I'm gonna, what I ended up doing is putting this track bar or a pan hard bar, whatever you want to call it. It's going to go in here straight down there like that and that way and then this will be cut here cut over there and it'll all be welded to the frame because um, I'm going to cut a piece of steel weld it box it in both sides um, this side really doesn't need it but why not um, but yeah so ended up welding welding all this it's hard to get down in there this is all completely welded there and the other side is completely welded as well um, anyway so as you can see and then I'll just go over this with the TIG welder to clean it up <clears throat> kinda how I did these so I just wanna get that side done uh, tonight so that I can break off these welds for the axle and then that way I can play with it up and down and check out the suspension um, but yeah so uh, yep that's what I'm doing right now um, what I'll do because I will be cutting this out here um, I'm just gonna weld the box there there you know it's going to be a full piece of steel going all the way across, um, but I'll just weld it on either side of the axle and probably all the way across the top of this frame. Um, but yeah, so this is just in here for a mock-up right now, and then uh, once I actually get it in there, it'll be in there. And I still have to drill a hole through this through there so but for the meantime uh, four link is coming along pretty good so let me cut this before it starts dumping rain in let me take some measurements and junk and uh, get that welded in there so um, yeah I'll be back I will be back